Hi, this is Astrid from Signature Creations and I'm here to talk to you today about one of the ways that you can store your fabric. I'll admit this is not my idea. I have learned it through the grapevine and it is just absolutely fantastic. So what you're going to need are comic book board, co uh, not covers, but comic book boards or if you're like me, when I went to Amazon to find the comic book boards, I found the magazine size boards instead. They're a little bit bigger. These are eight and a half by 11. And since most fabric is 42 inches wide, um, this is the perfect solution. So let me set that aside and let's get to folding our fabric. Here is the board and you'll see it's nice and stiff. And here's your fabric. What we're gonna do is we're gonna open our fabric up. You'll notice the selvage is over here fold is over here. When I fold my fabric, I like to see the side of the selvage that tells you the designer and the collection. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to fold over so that now your fabric is in fourths. I'm going to lay it down and you'll see that the white selvage is actually facing down. Place my board right over, fold it, and you see I don't fold it all the way over. And then I just fold the fabric like that until you're done. And there you have it, timeless treasures. And if you fold it over, you get all the rest of the information. And it's nice and pretty. And then from there, you can store it on your shelf. See how nice and perfect that fits on the shelf right there? That's good for me. And there you have it using either comic book boards or magazine boards to fold your fabric. Thank you.